friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a mature senile cataract the people size at this moment is 5 mm approximately and if this amount of dilatation remains throughout the surgery there will be no problem at all but let us observe this surgery what happened and how i managed the case by this time the main incision has been made and on side board on the left side of the main incision has been placed and now the anterior capsule is being stained underneath an air bubble whenever i apply air bubble i find that the staining is almost immediate and the dye can be washed out immediately after applying it up to 5 6 seconds and now i use a visco viscoelastic substance this is 2% spmc that is hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose and now the capsulorexis is to be done I make one more side port on the right side of the main incision about 2 and a half clock hours away and now I take a 26 gauge bent needle to incise the anterior capsule and raise a capsular tag and let us see what happens as I incise the anterior capsule I find that there is nothing coming out, so this is not intumescent cataract, and I decided to do rexis at on go. Though I didn't do a large rexis in this case, this is a rexis of about five millimeter in size. Whenever we want to do rexis at on go. it should not be a large rexis it should be about 5 mm so that if it tends to go to periphery we get some safety limit to bring it back this is hydro dissection fluid web is being passed underneath the anterior capsular rim and now this is a bit of adrenaline i want to see if the people dilates little more by application of adrenaline yes it has dilated little more and this will help me in chopping and emulsification of the nuclear mass this is faros from ortley switzerland the tip of the fecal needle goes bevel down some superficial cortical lens matter is removed and now i turn the hand piece make the bevel up and now see direct submarine job the tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus no not this is not submarine job it just this is trench and job the tip has been buried into the substance of the nucleus and nucleus has been chopped very nicely this is on hemi nucleus it has been divided into two large fragments now each large fragment is being emulsified this is the other fragment i am dividing it into two smaller pieces and at this time you may notice that the people has started becoming small however it is not very small the size at this time is about 4.5 mm and i can complete nucleus management if the size of the people remains like this this is a large fragment yes it has been eaten up and this is the 
last fragment at this time you may decide to decrease vacuum I also do sometimes but not always most of the time I finish off at high vacuum but that is not being recommended for the beginners you judge your capability and you take your own risk and this is the last few bits of the nucleus and protecting the PC with the chopper at this time keeping bend towards the booster capsule you can see a fragment which is just in front of the side port it has been dislodged it is at six o'clock now now this fragment will be squatted out like this with the Simco and now I am removing the cortex I cannot see the cortex I'm just sweeping the Simco and trying to remove the cortical matter I'm going through the left side port and removing the cortex from the other side going through the main incision and trying to remove the cortex and now I want to check if I have removed the cortical matter satisfactorily or not so I inject visco take an instrument to retract the iris before that I'm enlarging the main wound because I'm going to use a B cartridge in this case and this uh, instrument to check if I have removed the cortex nicely or not and I find that there is some cortical matter in the periphery and without seeing this cortical matter it is difficult to remove so I have decided to use a people expansion device at this stage and it will take only a minute to apply this this is B hex people expander from the inventor Dr. Subhan Bhattacharji of Kolkata it is known as B hex people expander alternate langes are tucked under the iris and now the flange at 10 o'clock is tucked going through the left side port the leading flange and the flange on the left has been tucked and going through the main incision only one flange flange on the right has been tucked by the left hand going through the side port now I am removing the cortical matter under direct visualization and this is the right way if we try to remove this cortex without seeing just by our intuition or by guess we may miss something so this is the right technique expand the people and now implantation of the lens is also easy we can see that with the IOL is in the capsular bag or not now here goes the intraocular lens this is a single piece monofocal hydrophilic intraocular lens this is a beautiful lens from Apasami Associates it is known as Naspro it has got aspheric 
optics and now the b hex people expanded is to be removed i take the b hex forceps hold the flange at 430 o'clock pull it centrally go above the iris again towards periphery here it is pull it centrally go above the iris towards periphery and all the flanges are untucked and it is removed so application of b hex is on minute and its removal is about 30 seconds if we invest this one and a half minute we can do this case very comfortably whenever the people becomes small at any stage of surgery we can apply this device and it is very much affordable to surgeons all over the world not only in India any developing country can afford this people expansion device and now the visco is nicely cleaned we must devote some quality time at this stage otherwise we may have to face raised IOP in the next day the side ports are then closed by corneal stromal hydration a final lavage of the anterior chamber is done with BSS because whenever we hydrate the side ports some particles go inside the eye some particles which may be there in the cannula thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills please learn to use a people expansion device which may be required at any stage of surgery